Hello beautiful people and welcome to another video with your girl Siobhan. Thank you for joining me for another cleaning room makeover refresh video. I'm super excited to have you here. Before we hop into the video, I want to thank Huge Casino for sponsoring today's video. I have to tell you all about them guys. It is so much fun. I want you to join the world's biggest casino community with slot machines and the name is Huge Casino. Play the best free slot casino, compete in leagues, join clubs, and have so much fun. Las Vegas style, okay? If you've ever been to Las Vegas, you know. Slot machines, Huge Casino is the ultimate free slot casino experience, okay? You can play over 100 top free casino slot machines, poker, baccarat, roulette, and many other free casino games. All you have to do is download the slot machines Huge Casino now, it's the number one slots casino on mobile. You're definitely going to love it, I'm telling you. So with this game, you can do it just to relax, for excitement, for entertainment. You can play with your family and friends. There is so many games on here that you can play. I'm just blown away. It's, it's so much fun. It'll keep you entertained for hours, 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 hours. They do have many games with, slot mach with slots and you know, you just want to try them out and see what it's all about. But again, you're just going to enjoy all of these games that they have. I absolutely love, love, love them. It was so much fun and I love how creative it is too. This is real time, free to play casual gaming that aims to give you that ultimate, ultimate experience, okay? The maximum joy and fun to players all around the world. Now there is no gambling or real money. It's, you know, you want to seem like you're in a casino, but you're not actually spending real money. But I'm telling you, if you want to have fun, these are definitely the games that you want to try out. Again, I absolutely love them. I had so much fun playing them. I still play them. I've never, I've gone to the casino a few times, maybe two or three times. And I'm always super nervous to play the, you know, play and bet my money and everything. But with this, you're playing, you're having fun. And it actually just makes me want to just try it out and see so much fun you can pick your own name there's so many different games you can choose from i mean so many games i love how creative again they are the falcon temple cuteness overload sky city 777 king of kings lucky camelot cash pirate's chest i mean i can go on and on journey to neverland arctic animals i've never seen an app that had this much selection in it so much selection guys you will definitely find something in here to play and definitely find something that you're going to have fun with so many games and i love the fact that you can actually play with other people you know you can play with family they'll get to see your little your name they'll know who you are and so forth so it's a lot of fun it really is a lot of fun retro real retro reels transylvania nights classic investigation Legends of Valhalla, like <laughs> disco reels, so much fun. I just, you're gonna love it. So definitely click the link down in the description box, download Huge Games, have some fun guys, definitely. Thank you Huge Games for sponsoring today's video. Now let's hop into it. beautiful people it was definitely time to do a bathroom refresh I love the bathroom I love how simplistic it was but it was missing something and that something was color <laughs> the something was color so this day I decided to it was definitely time while the kids were over my mom's house to do a refresh on the bathroom now I do want to tell you I used Dawn Power Wash for the first time on the bathroom I also mixed that Zep. It's mildew and something, and I definitely don't recommend it. My eyes were burning so much. It was all deep down in my throat. I thought I was going to just pass all the way out. I definitely don't recommend it, but I do love the Dawn Power Wash. I would definitely use that again. I would not mix the two products together. So the first thing, of course, you have to do before you do a refresh is just clean everything up, get rid of a lot of stuff, you know, stuff that you no longer need, and get the bathroom nice and fresh.
Now moving over to the toilet, I like to clean the tub and then I like to move on to the toilet and I clean the sink separately. I clean, well actually I clean the sink last. That's the way I like to clean. I do use different rags for the different areas if you wanna know. And yes, I like to thoroughly clean it. This little area over here is so small and compact that as you can see, I have a hard time maneuvering over here, but I did take my time. I got it cleaned up. I used one of the, oh, I can't remember what it is but I did use a toilet bowl cleaner in there. And I also, um, after the fact, I went back and just poured a little bit of bleach that I had under the sink. I cannot open my sink and do like a under the sink kind of, I can't show you <laughs> because it's so compact over here. So there's no way to show you what I have in there, but I just have basic cleaning products in there. And I really like, like I said, the toilet bowl cleaner. I do like the Zep even though it's super strong, it, it cleans so, so well. So I, that is one of my favorite products as well. And then I'll have some Lysol cleaner that I use to spray. So I cleaned off the toilet, the walls, and then I washed my hands. And above the toilet, I have sheets and I have pillowcases and... I think I have, oh, some extra hand towels, that is right. And so I just clean, I just organized those a little bit better. I put all the sheets together, all of the, all of the pillowcases and the hand towels and stuff together to just make it easier for the kids to kind of grab it and go if they need it. Or when I'm doing, you know, when I'm making up their beds and stuff, just to be able to grab it and go. So like I said, now I'm cleaning off the toilet and then I'll move on to the sink and then the mirror. And I do... If you want to know about the curtains, why they, why they are so wrinkled, we normally will just tie our curtains up. When you look out the bathroom window, when you look out the bathroom window, it's just a wall. It's a brick wall, so no one can see into the bathroom. So that's not a concern at all. So we usually will just tie the curtains up. I did try to steam out the wrinkles, and I did get some of them out, but if you're wondering, that is why. I do like the curtains. I got those from Walmart a while ago, and the material... It's perfect for the bathroom because I can actually wipe the curtains off. I don't know. I can't. I don't know what the material is, but I can actually wipe them off. So I like the curtains. That that's why I decided to keep them. Told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I I ain't a person. Understands all the clockwork of our romance. You make me feel so alive. Always there in my mind. But I just don't know. I just don't know if I'll dance with the lights on. If you're gonna be moving on solo. Wait a second, cause they're playing the best song. I'll be there if you read. Shout to me So I did go to Ikea. The first cabinet that I got was a little too big. I did take off the towel bar and I spray painted that all white. If you can see, it has like some white and gray, like where the white came off or white and silver. So I did, I did take that outside. I spray painted that all white and I wiped off this entire wall. Wanted to get that nice and clean. I did get the cabinet. It is a four cube organizer from Ikea. And then I also bought 
it comes with a set well not it doesn't come with it but you can buy a set of two drawers and I did buy that I love the piece the piece is super nice but it's too big for the for the space it's just definitely too big so I took that out and I actually went back to Ikea again and I got another piece to go in the bathroom. I did my measurements and everything and I love this piece and I'm going to show you what it is right here. So the new piece that I got is called an Ivar metal cabinet. It does come with the doors and it has four shelves and I wanted to show you the dimensions as well. I wanted to keep the dimensions mm, less than 15 in width if that makes sense. So in length and in width, I had to make sure, so it's 15 inches in width and 11 inches in depth. That's what I wanted to say. But I did get that from Ikea. It was super easy to put together. Definitely recommend it, super easy to put together. It would be perfect in like a kid's bedroom or something like that as well. It's just a great piece. And I wanted to find something that was metal because it's in a bathroom and it'll be easy to clean off. I didn't want to get anything that was fabric or anything like that. I wanted to keep it very simple and very easy for me to be able to keep it clean. So that is why I got that. I did put that together really quickly. I didn't show you because you've seen me put together furniture, se furniture several times and I just wanted to make it simple for you guys. But Ikea has so many different and unique pieces that you can organize with. You definitely have to think outside of the box when you're organizing. I do like the piece. Now, granted, it is a little taller, which I really do not mind because it gives me more storage options. And I'll show you how I organize it at the end, how I'm going to keep it organized. But again, I really like that piece so much. Also, another tip with Ikea, even though I put together that four cube organizer, I can actually return it. You can return Ikea items up to 365 days from the day that you buy it, as long as you have proof that you bought it you can return it. What I think I'm going to do, because I'm going to clean out my bedroom closet, purge and declutter in there. And I have pillows, I have pictures and so forth that I can just give away. I haven't used them in a year. So, you know, it's time to give them away. Um, but I'm going to use that in my bedroom closet, I believe. So that is my, that's my thing that I'm thinking of. I did get this curved shower rod from Target, guys. This is a game changer. The curved shower rod is a game changer. I think it was like maybe $40, but I would buy it all over again wholeheartedly. When you're in the shower, it feels like you have more space. And also when you walk in the bathroom, just the way the shower curtain even looks better on the curved shower, shower rod. It does. So I definitely recommend it. I'll leave a link down below for you, but I love this shower rod. You look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking Fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Stay We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us till they want now this is the Ikea four cube organizer and you really can't even tell when you look at it. Let me show you. So again, I did buy the two sets of drawers. It comes, at, I think it was like $20. I screwed, you know, drilled them in and everything. And I love it. This would, be, this would have been a great piece in someone's bathroom. Great piece. But unfortunately it just was not enough space. And I was like, no, I can't, I can't do it. It's just, it's too big. It's too big, it's too bulky. So I ended up taking that back out and that's when I got the Ivar system. But I absolutely love this piece and I would definitely recommend it. It was $49.99 for the four cube organizer. The drawers were, I want to say $17 to $20. And then I bought three of the Lekman. These are black 
black bins and they were the Leckman bins were I think $15 a piece so love it definitely recommend it but just way too big for the space even if what we're doing is bad there's so many emotions sharing stories that we never had yet none is real I think we're searching for reasons not to be like them, them. we fly around like paper planes they never know where we will fall nobody can see us still they Tear us apart There's something different About the way we are For some reason, I never thought to remove the towel rod. I don't know why. These walls are so, they're just, they're like no other walls I've ever seen before in my life. But they're easy to keep clean, easy to wipe off. So I guess that's why they put them in the bathroom. But all I did was pre-drill some new holes, put the towel rod back up. I'm actually going to do that for a couple pictures because I've bought pictures before to put in my bathroom. I've used command hooks and not command hooks the command strips for the pictures and they just fall off they do not stay but now that i know i can pre-drill some holes you know I, I just didn't want to make any holes in the walls and just hang up a couple pictures i am definitely going to do that so i'm happy about that and i got the shower curtain and the towels and the rug from target everything was from target Now we're moving into styling and I got this toilet paper holder from Target. It was $25 to $27. I can't remember. I did a video. I did a haul a couple videos back on this Target stuff. I got these three bins from either Marshalls or TJ Maxx. They were TJ Maxx and I think they were $9.99 for three bins and they fit perfectly in there. 
I do think I want to get some risers or something like I have in my pantry in the kitchen and it'll just give me a little bit more height and maybe I can put another basket or something in there depending on how I'm going to finalize the organization that's in that space. These towels that I got from Target are amazing. The quality is amazing. I absolutely love them. The towel bar to me is actually a little small for two towels, but I love the way it turned out. So I did use both of the towels and then I also used two teal towels, which you'll see. And what I'm going to do is take the smaller hand towel and I think I'm going to buy one of those hand towel circle things that you put on the wall and put the hand towel over there by the mirror in the sink. So that is my plan when I go back out, um, when I hit Target or, you know, Walmart or whatever, I'll get one of those. But I love the way this turned out. Very simple, but just, oh, it's just perfect. The only thing I would do is I would put maybe some contact paper on the sink, not on the sink part, but on the wood part, because that's like the faux wood. I don't know what to call it at the moment. And then, of course, I would steam out the curtains. Also, I would change out the light plate the wall light plate just to make it bright white and then paint around like the window casings and the baseboards and things like that to kind of brighten it up but other than that like I really truly love the bathroom it is small it's not ideal but it does function properly and you don't have to spend a lot of money to make over your space you really don't I'm just showing you some options for your space again Ikea is amazing not sponsored wish they were so here we have the before of the bathroom, and then I'll show you the reveal of everything after. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your eyes tell me that you don't want to leave just yet. No, my eyes agree. It's almost like when we first met. Oh. I don't care, it's getting too late I want you and I can't wait Don't want to spend a minute without you I know you feel the same So come on, give me love I'ma show you how to move How to move with my body So again, shower curtain is from Target It was $19.99 And then I also got the bath mat, the rug And that was... I believe $12.99 or $13.99. I got all of the towels from Target as well. I got the faux greenery from Ikea. Very inexpensive. The white pot was $2. The plants were like $3 a piece. And the gray pot was like $3. And then I've had those bins and that stuff above the toilet for a while. I even got the hand soap pump from Target as well. And that was $9.99. I did have a glass one on my sink and last week my daughter broke it. So again, I just have to move away from glass. So I just organized the cabinet. We have medicine at the top, washcloths on the second, towels on the third. And the fourth one, I am going to get a bin and put some additional towels. And I do keep, we do have a small closet. It's like, it's, it's super small. When you first walk into the bathroom, you can't fit. I couldn't even fit this cabinet in there if I wanted to. It's really small, but that is where we keep our toilet paper, our extra soap, and things like that, if you're wondering. Other than that, it is a... I love the aesthetic of the bathroom. It's perfect. It is perfect in our eyes. It functions so nice. I just picked up the kids from my mother's house. They spent about five days there and when they came back they said oh mom you redid the bathroom we love it like they always love when I redecorate something so I definitely recommend that curved shower rod that's that's my favorite piece and then the metal cabinet thank you for watching I love y'all to the moon and back thank you thank you thank you so much huge games for sponsoring today's video I'll talk to you guys later I love y'all so much bye Don't you